Hello, my name is Sister Lizzie Ruth. I'm Anglican and I'm a sister of the community of St. Mary the Virgin in Wantage. This is the first of two videos about our community. In this first video, I'll give an overview of our spirituality and our prayer life. And in the second video, I'll give an overview of our ministry. Because we're a residential community, there's a third important dimension to our life, and that's our family life. I don't intend to make a video about our family life, but it would include things such as our worshipping and eating together each day, our recreation with each other most days of the week, our tea and cake together as one big family on a Sunday afternoon, our group discussions and coming to decisions together, our visiting each other and caring for each other if one of us is ill, and our celebrating each other's profession anniversaries and birthdays. So our family life together is one important dimension of our life, and our ministry, which the second of these two videos will be about, is another dimension of our life. And without further ado, this video will focus on our general setting, our spirituality and our prayer life. The community of St Mary the Virgin is based in Wantage, a market town surrounded by beautiful countryside in the south of England. Wantage is only around 40 minutes drive from Oxford city centre. Being so close to Oxford means we're able to have links with Oxford city centre clergy and Oxford university chaplains as well as being able to meet up more easily with the other religious communities based in Oxford itself. These photos I've taken for you around Wantage were all taken only five or ten minutes walk away from the convent. Because we're not an enclosed community, we're allowed to go out of our grounds for a walk during our free time. The photos I'm currently showing you are all spots on my regular short walk routes. When we have a retreat day or a rest day, if we want, we have the space to go for a longer walk further into the countryside. Wantage was actually the birthplace of Alfred the Great, King of the South of England in the 9th century. There's a statue of him right in the middle of Wantage Marketplace. The marketplace is surrounded by about 30 shops and cafes. It's handy that our convent is only 10 minutes walk away from the shops and post office. Regular shoppers in Wantage are quite used to seeing us CSMV sisters walking around the centre of town in our habits. Our community was founded in the 1840s, when the centre of Wantage looked more like this. It was founded by the vicar of Wantage at the time, William John Butler. William John Butler's vision was for a female Anglican religious community that was what today we might call contemplative active. He was keen that the sisters should be engaged in active ministry, 
more about that in the second of these videos, but he considered it essential that the ministry should flow out of a rootedness in prayer and out of a contemplative spirit. As his ideas took shape, he founded a community whose sisters, although engaged in active ministry, gathered together at fixed times in the day to pray and praise God together, what we call the daily office, and who attended a service of Holy Communion every day. In addition to this, he wanted each sister to have space for two and a half hours a day of personal prayer on her own and spiritual reading. We present day CSMV sisters live very close to this framework all these years on. The community of St. Mary the Virgin was officially founded in 1848. This is the earliest photo we have of our first sisters. One of the things William John Butler had to do as part of setting up the community was to give the sisters a rule to follow. Every religious community has a rule to live by. The rule is not a long list of, you're not allowed to do this and you're not allowed to do this. It's a little book containing instructions for the members of a specific religious community on how to order and go about their life, how to live well and lovingly with each other and others they come into contact with, and how to deepen their intimacy with God within their religious vocation. The rules of religious communities are usually divided into sections on subjects such as prayer, silence, being loving to each other, caring for the elderly and sick in your community, poverty, chastity and obedience. Each CSMV sister promises to live by the CSMV rule. Our rule is a private document, but I can share with you its main two influences. William John Butler did a lot of research into religious community rules, and he spent years thinking and praying about ours before putting it together. One of his sources of inspiration was the rule of St. Augustine. St. Augustine was a North African monk and later a bishop who lived over the turn of the 5th century. He wrote a rule for the religious community that he founded in around 400 AD. Some communities still live by it today. It wouldn't be true to say that the community of St. Mary the Virgin's rule is specifically based on the rule of St. Augustine, but our rule certainly has strong echoes of it. If it interests you, it's very easy to read the rule of St. Augustine for yourself online. It's much shorter than the rules of many other communities. Also, the religious community founded in the 17th century by St. Francis de Sales and St. Jane de Chantal really resonated with William John Butler's own vision. It was called the Order of the Visitation of Holy Mary the sisters of this community were active sisters who served the poor and sick, but who did so out of five hours a day spent in prayer. Some of the most notable characteristics of their community were their emphases on simplicity, on moderation and common sense, and on the sisters being gentle and realistic with each other and with themselves. These themes appear within our CSMV rule. Every day, we gather to hear a section of our rule read out loud. Here at St. Mary's Convent, we sisters gather together in chapel six times a day. Five of those services are our fivefold daily office. 
We pray Lords at 6.30 in the morning, Terse at 8.45, Sext at 12.30, Vespers at 5, and Compline at 8 before we retire for the night. We sing plain chant in each of our offices. Central to our day is our daily morning Eucharist at 10 o'clock. We're friends with a whole network of priests who take it in turns to preside for us. They're from a range of traditions and areas of ministry, so we experience quite a lot of the breadth of the Church of England here. We accept female priests. I'd say about half the priests who come to us are female, and in fact one of our own sisters is a priest herself. Every morning, each of us sisters has an hour of personal prayer, generally in the silent space between lords and terse. It's a foundational part of our daily rhythm and something we're bound by our rule to be faithful to. We're free to choose where we have our morning prayer hour. Each of us sisters commits to half an hour of spiritual reading each day. The mornings tend to be very busy with work, but I found I always managed to find time at some point in the afternoon or early evening to sit and prayerfully do my reading for the day. Each of us sisters also commits to a minimum of half an hour of personal prayer each evening. We're free to choose when our evening prayer time is, whether before or after Compline or both. In addition to our various daily times of silence, we're able to have even more extended times of silence with God in the silent retreats that we each have at intervals throughout the year. A retreat day each month, a bit longer in Advent and Lent, and a week-long silent retreat in the summer. Of course, Jesus is our main role model. But Mary, mother of our Lord, after whom our community is named, is a strong inspiration to us in our following Jesus and being receptive to him. Mary offered herself as a handmaid of the Lord, and she bravely consented to the fullness of God's will in her life. She also quietly pondered in her heart what God was doing in her life and in the world. We sisters of the community of St. Mary the Virgin seek to imitate Mary in her complete openness to God and her contemplative spirit. There's also another Mary who helps describe the spirituality of our community. You may be familiar with the story in the Bible of the two sisters, Mary and Martha. Mary showed her devotion to Jesus by sitting at his feet listening to him. Martha showed her devotion to Jesus by actively serving him. 
as well as being founded with the intention that the CSMV sisters would imitate Mary, Mother of Our Lord, it was also William John Butler's intention that we should be a blend of the Mary and Martha in this story, that we would be both contemplative and active. In my next video, I'll describe the more Martha active side of our life. I hope that this video has given you a feel for the more Mary side of our life. How much we seek to sit at Jesus' feet each day, listening to him, talking with him in our hearts, adoring God, resting in God's love, and getting our strength and wisdom from God. As Jesus himself said, Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me.